Okay, so here we have the Damascus 74 you and look how beautiful it looks in game, bruh. So uh, what's up guys, it's Terry here by Nino Orquaji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, and Warzone 2. In today's video, we're covering a nice little special store bundle that comes with Damascus tracer guns for both the 74U, the cast off 74U, and the Tempest Torrent. Both of these guns recently got traces already, so I don't know why they're doing them again, but it is only 1800 COD points and it comes with some other cool stuff. So if you guys are excited to see how the blueprints look like with all the mastery camos, you guys are excited to see how the traces and the dismemberment looks like, and everything about this bundle. And, and, and like I said, there's dismemberment on this bundle. First dismemberment bundle since like the Klaus bundle. If you guys are excited for all this, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. On this channel, I do upload store bundles pretty often. The ones that interest me, like tracer packs, animated bundles, reactive bundles, and anything cool that I see in the future. And if you enjoy Warzone 2 gameplay and the occasional new slash update video, you've come to the right channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you want, man, but I'm just honored that you're even here. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this bundle. So for our first gun, we got the Tempest Torrent Steel Crucible which comes with Blurple Liquid Metallic Tracer gun, uh, Impact and Dismemberment Death Effect. And then when it comes to the preview, you know, this is a little laggy. We have uh, the Purple Tracers and the Dismemberment is actually pretty crazy. It legit gets rid of their head, as you can see, and it'll get rid of any other body parts that you shoot. So pretty cool freaking Tracer Effect. As for 1800 COD points, it doesn't come with any ammunition, so unfortunately you won't be able to bring this to, or you won't be able to bring these attachments or this tracer to any other marksman rifle, but still, pretty good looking gun. Next up, we got the Molten Flow cast off setting for you, which also comes with the liquid metallic blurple tracers and the dismemberment effect. And as you guys can see, that dismemberment goes crazy. You legit see Rose lose her limbs and her arms with this uh, gun. So the tracers are pretty crazy on this one. Uh, when it comes to the, the attachments on this, it also doesn't have an ammunition, sadly. So you can only put these traces on other sending for you blueprints, but you won't be able to put it on any other gun in the game. But otherwise, though, it's a pretty clean sending for you. It might be better than the Kevin Durant one. Next up, we got the vehicle skin of the Plated Carrier, the Forger Weapon Charm, the Skull Maskus Loading Screen, and the Electro Forged Emblem. So it's 1800 COD points. Honestly, the only W I see in my eyes is the 74U. So if you, if you wanted cast off 74U tracers, then this would be the better bundle, I think, than the Kevin Durant bundle, because I don't think anybody cares about the Tempest Torrent. Uh, so it's up to you if you think 1800 COD points is worth for this, but I'm gonna cop it. We're gonna go ahead and check out the trace rounds and see how they look like on both the Tempest Torrent and the 74U, and I'll show how the camels look like as well. So yeah, with all that being said, let's go ahead and check these guns out. Okay, so here we have both the cast off standing for you Molten Flow and the Steel Crucible. And if you look at the Molten Flow, here are the attachments once again in case you're curious. And let's see how it looks like with camos. So here's how the base uh, camos look like. Nothing too crazy. But once we get to the Mastery camos, here's how Gold and the Damascus look like, which is actually kind of clean. Here's Platinum and Damascus. Here is Polyatomic and Damascus, which actually is a really dope combination. And here is Orion and Damascus, which looks pretty clean. Could be a little bit more pretentious, but honestly, I like the mix of colors. Next up, we got the solid color camos, as you guys can see. So, uh, as you can see, you're not going to be seeing the main Damascus print. I think it's better just run the the regular sort of, uh, you know, no camo, basically, if you want to see the Damascus print. And then here's the speckled camo, in case you're curious, and the rat and rancid camo. That actually looks really clean with this, uh, not even going to lie. And then, uh, can't forget the CDL camos, in case you're curious. But I think overall... This gun looks the best with, with no camo. I mean, the Bowing Blossom is always going to look pretty great. Galvanic actually looks pretty dope, but I'm not able to get that for whatever reason because I completed the raid three times but never gave it to me. The veteran raid, I should say. But I think with no camo, the gun is going to look the best because of that Damascus look, but that's just me. Moving on, here we have the Steel Crucible Tempest Torrent. And you see how it looks like with camos. Here's how it looks like with the Speckled Camo. Here's how it looks like with the other base camos that it has. Here's how it looks like with gold. Here's how it looks like with platinum. I think this gun looks a lot better with the uh, with the camos and the sunny for you. Here's how polyatomic looks like, which is pretty fresh. And we're here we have Orion, which also looks amazing. So far, I think the Tempest Story looks a little bit better, just personally, anyways. Uh, when it comes to solid color camos, here we got uh, all the solid color camos kind of showing this gun off in a sense. Nothing too wild or crazy. It is a nice little mix. 
And then here we have uh, some of the fun camos, in case you're curious. I think that Rad and Ranson really looks good with the um, the combination of the, the Damascus. And then we can't forget the CDL camos. And of course, the event camos. The Bally Blossom's there for a bit. And then the Galvanic camo, in case you have that. And all that, so. And now we're gonna see how the guns look like with their meta attachments. So here's the default attachments for the Molten Flow cast off sunny for you. And here's the meta class setup for the cast off sunny for you. And as you can see, you pretty much lose a lot of the Damascus look. I mean, the Damascus is still on top of the, 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 I guess the base of the gun. So if you go into the firing range and like inspect it, like it looks pretty cool in game, but you do lose a lot of the main Damascus look, which is kind of sucky. So if you didn't want to rock this setup, you could take off the 45 round mag just to keep uh, that look on there. And you could also run the Ultra Dot stock and then still kind of maintain some Damascus look. But you are going to lose a lot of the Damascus look by changing a lot of the attachments, which kind of stinks. Here's the default attachments for the Tempest Torrent Steel Crucible. And here's the meta attachments for the meta uh, Tempest Torrent Steel Crucible. And as you can see, pretty much you do keep the main look of the gun. You might lose it on the mag, the rear grip, and the stock, but I think the barrel of the gun and the base of the gun is still going to look very good in game with this sort of, uh, you know, this meta class of, so that's good. But now that we've seen the guns enough in the menus, let's go ahead and take them in game and see how they look like, uh, you know, in game and also see how the traces and dismemberment looks like. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we have the Damascus 74 you and look how beautiful it looks in game, bruh. This is actually a really nice looking. Oh my goodness. And then we also have the Damascus Steel Crucible Tempest Torrent, which also looks really beautiful. I just wish they give us Damascus camo in general, honestly. Make it one of like the mastery event camos. Like do it for like season four reloaded or something, because like guns like these look so freaking fresh, as you guys can see. How does the Tempest Torrent look like? Ooh, the reticle it has is like, uh, what, thermal maybe? That's actually have a, a really dope look. Uh, let's see how the traces look like, though. Oh, it's the, it's legit Damascus Metallic, bro. That's pretty clean. Yeah, that's actually really fresh. I like this a lot. I think it's really clean looking and just definitely better than the... The Kevin Durant bundle, but like I said, when you change the attachments to a meta class setup, you basically have nothing left. It's kind of sad. And now let's check out how these traces look like on the opponents. That dismemberment effect is kind of crazy. Bro, he legit lost his arm, bro. That's pretty insane. So, hey, people want the dismemberment back. It came back. Now, if I aim towards his head, is he going to lose his head? Oh, yeah, he straight up loses his head, bro. So, yeah, if you want to make them lose any sort of their body parts, you could definitely do so with this dismemberment. Now, let's see the leg. Yeah, you legit make them lose any body part. That's actually pretty crazy, bro. And now, let's see if it works for the Tempest Torrent here. And, yeah, I made him lose his, uh, his arm right there. So, honestly, I think that's all we really pretty much have got to know. I'm going to go ahead and switch to my meta class setups so that you guys can see that I still keep my tracers. In order to keep your traces on any weapon, any blueprint in the game, just make sure you don't change the ammunition. And as you can see, I still have my metallic traces on my 74 u and my metallic tracers on the Tempest Torrent. And honestly, the Tempest Torrent looks really clean uh, with the iron sights, like a metallic iron sight. But yeah, I think that's everything that there is to say about the, the, uh, the bundle. Uh, it's just a dismemberment bundle with Damascus guns. And you do lose a lot of the look uh, with most of these guns. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about this bundle. Personally, I don't think it's the best bundle in the game. You lose a lot of the, the Damascus look when you change the attachments up. And, I mean, the traces are cool. I think the traces are pretty cool. But it's only, like, a 74U and a Tempest Torrent. Guns that aren't really popular anymore besides the 74U. So, it's up to you if you want it. Uh, but if you want a better 74U than the Kevin Durant one, the traces are better on this one than the Kevin Durant one. I mean, the basketball heads are pretty cool, though. I don't know, it's all a, a matter of personal preference. Anyways, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications for more store bundles in the future, and we got another store bundle trace pack dropping tomorrow, so make sure you guys stay tuned. I freaking love you all, and keep being amazing. I'm in love.